excited to be with Josh Tribal today. We are announcing the new feature called PodPoint. We've been working on this for a long, long time. Josh has been putting a year, probably, or even more, to finally getting us to this point. Um, Josh Tribal, what is your role in our church? I'm the multimedia director. I handle a lot of the maybe behind the scenes stuff that people don't see, equipment installations. Uh, we have a whole team that I manage on Sundays that make sure that you can hear the message both here in the church and if you're listening online um, and various other things like that. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about PodPoint. So many people have been asking us for quite a while, right, Josh? Yeah. Hey, we, we want to have access. Uh, we, when we made a website change, we lost kind of our content out in the world and we lost some of our content um, in iTunes and on podcasts. Uh, so on PodPoint, how are things organized? Because I, I love this feature. All right, so PodPoint, as I'm uploading the audio, I'm assigning it to various sermons. Like we have the book of Genesis, the book of Mark, the book of Galatians. And as those things are being added during the uploading process, PodPoint automatically assigns them to a file. And if you want to listen to them in the order they were preached, you can simply click on click on the book of Genesis or the book of Mark, and you can listen to just those recordings in the order they were preached. Yeah, I like that. Just so you know, I'm always listening to sermons from other ministries, and I love when I can click on a folder, and I know that all the sermons are in that folder. It does make it simpler. Now, PodPoint, the reason we went with PodPoint is because we put our information in one location, and it distributes it to a lot of great different applications. I'm trying to learn this language from Josh. So tell us about some of the popular applications where our content gets funneled to. Okay, so um, it funnels to four big ones that a lot of people will typically use. Um, one being Apple Podcasts, yeah. another being Google's Play Now or uh, Google Play or Play Music. Um, that's all one application. I just it, Google's retitled it a couple of different times, I think. Um, it can also go to Spotify or TuneIn Radio. Yeah, I love that. I love that we're loading it to one place, right? And it's being distributed to many. And that's been super, super helpful. Now, how is it organized in those applications? Can they hit a folder in those as well? Or is it, tell me how it's organized in those apps. When you're listening on a, uh, a podcasting platform like Apple Podcasts, it's going to only be organized by year. So they're still organized in the order they were preached, but you can't get a folder on that. What we're doing instead is titling them um, by the sermon series and then the number order within that series so you can find them more easily that way. So it's just chronological. There's a date and a boom. That's good. So that's super exciting to just finally have the content out there organized so you can have access. Now, let's talk about getting access. What are the keys to getting into the information? Because we are not the only Redeemer, believe it or not, in the universe. And so how do people get access to this, Josh? All right, so there's a few different ways. Um, if you're uh, just logging into one of the applications I described before, or you're even going to podpoint.com itself, yeah. you can find this simply by typing in Redeemer space RGB. Uh, Redeemer has branded themselves this way with their Facebook page, the website. So in keeping with that, just to make things simple and keep things across the board and make sure all our content, everybody knows it's our content, um, we're keeping with that. So we are very easy to find that way. The other way is on our YouTube page, in the banner in the lower right hand corner, there's a handful of little links that you can click on and you won't see all the ones we're discussing because YouTube will only let us put so many in that banner, but if one of these I mentioned isn't popping up readily, you can click on uh, the About tab, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, all the other, every link that we have listed will appear in the bottom. Also, all the links I'm discussing will appear in the, uh, in the About section of this video itself in the comments section. We'll, we'll include all these links. Awesome. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, go and you'll see them floating in those little kind of tabs there, or you can go into about and get it from there. Um, 
one of the big initiatives has been evangelism, right? Our witness to the world. And many of you are doing an amazing job, right, of like sharing the link, uh, the worship, and to family and friends. It's been pr pretty amazing. Now, tell them how easy it is to share this content. It's pretty All right. cool. All right. So when you're, uh, I'll start with PodPoint. If you're listening from PodPoint.com, and you're listening, if you're listening to one of those sermons there, and you like what you're hearing, or you want to be a blessing to someone else, or you just want to share what we're preaching each week, um, as you're listening to the, the video, you can hit share. There's a share button right there on the page, and you can share to Facebook or Twitter. Cool. If you're listening from Apple Podcasts, you can click on the three dots and get copy link and then paste that to Facebook. And you can do that very similarly with Google's uh, Play Now fe uh, feature. There's, uh, if you click on the up arrow, I think it is, there, um, it'll give you the option to share from there as well. Cool. So I just love that we're able to not only listen for ourselves for you know edification, but we can send it out to other people, text it to your friend, copy the link like you said in stuff like in, in podcast, and say, hey, I think this message would be helpful for you. Um, I know a lot of people that I minister to, I minister to them by sending them audio. That's what I do. I don't send them a book. I send them an audio because people, you know, they listen in their car when they jog. And so I'm excited about just the ministry that's going to take place because of all of this. And so in closing remarks, a huge labor of love, Josh. Thank you so much. People don't realize how long it took, like the back data getting our content from the old website company. Like, it was just a huge job. And so I thank you for that. It means a lot. And to our friends all over the world, you know, a lot of people are listening to us now, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Canada, I, people in Washington. It's, it's pretty amazing how many people are listening to us. Um, we now get to give you more of our content. All the sermon series we've done since two, is it 2012, Josh? 2012. 2012. Yeah, so, so many things there from Genesis and Judges and, you know, all these great books that we have. And we cannot wait to have people be able to access that. Um, One so, final thing I should sure. mention. The cool thing about listening from a podcast uh, channel, like Apple Podcasts or Play Now, one of the ones we mentioned before, as opposed to PodPoint, is you can download the audio to listen offline. Yeah. So if you're in a poor reception area... And you can download stuff while you're listening or from a from an area where you do have service and then take that with you and listen offline. That's awesome. So we've been able to offer so many options now. We're really thrilled about it. I hope that you will, no matter what happens, you miss a service, you don't have to miss the content. Is that great? That's awesome. Yeah. There's one other thing I do want to mention to everyone too. There's a handful of services, mostly between 2015 and 2017, where some of the audio just wasn't very good. Now, for some of them, if the audio is just jumping all over the place, there's not a lot I can do. But if the audio is just too soft for you to hear, please don't hesitate to email either RedeemerSontech at gmail.com or RedeemerOfTheValley at gmail.com. And in, in your subject, just say something about how you can't you need the audio improved, and include in the email which which sermon specifically it was, and I can hopefully fix that with, um, in a very short amount of time and get it back up so you can hear it. Come on now, extra customer service is that awesome? I'm thankful. I'm excited. We love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye bye.